diluting shampoos, concentrated shampoos and conditioners, why they are concentrated and how do we know if they're concentrated and how do we know how to dilute them because they all have different ratios. I am Amy Lee, certified professional pet groomer since 2003, but more importantly, it is absolutely my pleasure to share with you the secrets of the grooming industry so that you can provide quality care for your beloved pets at home. How to get your dog clean? Well, obviously we have to wash our dogs to get them clean right we have to do a lot of things to get them clean we have to brush them to get dander and dirt and debris out of their skin and coat but there's one very important factor in getting your dog clean proper use of products shampoos conditioners sprays a lot of these products are dilutable they're meant to be pre-mixed now there's a lot involved with dilutions there's a lot of things that i have to explain to you guys it's very important if you're not properly diluting your products they will not work for you and your pet and i'm going to demonstrate how to dilute your shampoo and conditioner as well explain to you why that it is some important that you do so i also want you to understand why shampoo is concentrated there's a reason for that i want you to understand it you guys deserve these answers and you're gonna get them. So we have products, okay guys, this is shampoo, this is a conditioner I'm getting ready to mix for the day. This is a 16 to one. That means 16 parts water, one part product. This is a conditioner I'm going to pre-mix. And this one is a, what is it? A 10 part water, one part product. So this is a 10 to one. So here's our mixing bottle. It's nice and clean and dry. I tip them upside down and let them dry out overnight too. But you can see they're 10 to one. That's the line that we're going to be filling up with water. Filling it from, to the 10 to one because this product says mix it 10 to one. So I'm going to do that. I will do that. <laughs> Shake up your product before we even pour any in there. Um, you wanna get our water warm. Remember, this is important. Wait till it's warm, almost a little on the hot side but not hot fill it up with water to the 10 to 1 mark if your dilution was 32 to 1 you would choose the different mark so filling it up with warm to hot water we're not going to put hot water on our dogs but we will let this sit for a minute but the warm water is going to release the active ingredient in the products so now we fill from the rest of the 10 to 1 line up to the fill line with product that's it so you can see we're not using much product. You can really get a lot of life and, and longevity out of your products if you're diluting them properly. Plus, obviously, you're going to clean your dog's skin and coat better. Trust me. That's a big message that I'm trying to send to you guys. Now what we got to do is shake it up really, really good. We're going to mix all that together. If we used cold water, we would have found that this product wouldn't have separated in that water. So now it's ready to use. I can use this all day on multiple dogs or whatever dogs. So I'm going to use it on this little Shih Tzu puppy. Isn't he cute? And this is how we apply it. We just squeeze it right out of the bottle and that's that. But you want to make sure you follow your product instructions. Every bottle of shampoo has instructions. Every bottle of conditioner. This is one of my favorites, SunGuard. I love this product by nature especially. This is a product called Best Shot. This is a shampoo. This is only mixed three to one. You can see that it's not heavily dilutable. And we need to follow those dilution ratios. So it's three parts water, one part uh, conditioner. Excuse me. Now this is 16 to one, this product. I love this product. This is the Sun Guard. So you would mix 16 parts water, one part conditioner in your mixing bottle. And always follow the instructions on the, on the back labels of your products and and you'll be good guys but it's it's only that simple i can't make it any more complicated it's that simple how would you know if the products that you purchase are meant to be diluted i'm going to show you that there's a few dangers involved in mixing your products your shampoos and conditioners we're going to talk about that some want you to dilute 30 parts water to one part shampoo some want you to dilute 10 parts water to one part shampoo. We're gonna talk about that. And we're gonna talk about why it's important to dilute them and what happens if you don't. Why is shampoo concentrated? What does that mean? Concentrated means the water was taken out of the product. There's a reason for that and it's in our favor. If we're buying gallons of shampoo 
and it typically would need to have a lot of water in it. We're paying shipping costs, right? Shampoo is shipped and it normally contains about 80% of water. Well, if we're shipping 80% water, we're paying for water. This is a big reason why shampoo is concentrated. Plus it gives it a longer shelf life. Shipping costs are calculated by size and weight. Therefore, if the shampoo that we purchase for our pets is concentrated and 80% of it is water, if the water is taken out of the equation, our shipping costs are less burdening than if the shampoo contained a substantial amount of water in the product. Concentrated shampoo is not meant to use unless it's diluted. That's important. It's too strong to use on the skin and coat without adding the appropriate amount of water. It's formulated to contain the water. If you're not putting it back in, the product isn't gonna do what it's supposed to do. Dilution ratios are clearly noted on the bottles of your concentrated shampoo or conditioner. The results that your shampoo will produce for you and your pet may be discouraging if you improperly dilute the product. If you use too much water than recommended, the active ingredient will not clean your dog as intended because the shampoo is far too watered down. Now, on the other hand, if you did not add enough water when diluting your shampoo, the active ingredient could prove to be too harsh for the skin and coat. So it could irritate the skin and the coat, leaving product buildup in the coat, and this will also weigh down the coat, causing things to stick to the coat instead of repel dirt and dander and grime and all that wonderful stuff. Especially if you've got a dog with a heavy coat or a double coat, you gotta make sure you're washing them properly with your dilution ratios and rinsing it properly Some too. Some products are not meant to be diluted at all and you should just read those labels to find out and follow the instructions suggested from the product developer. Another important thing to remember when diluting your pet's shampoo and conditioner is to use warm water instead of cold water when mixing your dilutable product. Warm water will activate the ingredients which will produce the results that the product promises to provide to your pet. So it's very important. It was concentrated down for shipping and a shelf life, but now we're bringing it back to what it needs to be to produce the results that you need. There are dangers that come along with mixing shampoo with water. There's bacteria in water, and if you mix your shampoo, it must be used that day. If you don't use all of the pre-mixed product, then you must discard it, throw it away down the drain. The remaining contents must go down the drain. Water contains bacteria, and in a day, two days, three days, that bacteria starts breeding and brewing and multiplying and it may not be a problem if your dog has no irritation to his skin and coat no uh, this is not an older dog not a, a younger dog because both of those are their immune systems are compromised bacteria could be invited in through the skin if they have any type of abrasions even some that you're not aware of and you use this product that you diluted four or five days ago and now it has a bunch of bacteria in the water that can get into their bloodstream, into their system through that little open cut, or say they they got some irritated raw skin somewhere. Yeah, this is we're talking dogs. It's normal that can invite that bacteria into their skin. 